Yeah, I mean, definitely we'll get to the magnet beam if I'm not... If I'm not... Get, yeah, no, we're going straight to magnet beam. <laughs> Hell with this. This is ridiculous. Good old magnet beam. Nothing beats that. Well, if magnet beam is so great, why haven't they made magnet beam 2? Can't answer that one, huh? The next shockwave of magnet beam 2? Hmm, I suppose, but... And I think in that case, it's a sequel that's worse than the original. There are magnets, and they are beams. Uh, I guess you got me by technicality there. <laughs> the old magnet beam 2, nothing beats that. I, now we have to think about magnet beam 3. Don't, let's not get into this rabbit hole. Magnet beam is just magnet man attached to a steel girder. Beam 4 is what I'll do holding a giant magnet. Now we're crossing universes here, alright? We can't... But having having two copy abilities from two different series in one, what do you think this is? The tier 7 boss? We can't, no, no, no. We can't have that crossover quite yet. The, the world's not ready for it. Now imagine if Kirby got the copy ability from Mega Man. What would they do? The possibilities are endless. But what if Mega Man gained Kirby's ability to eat people? Hmm. There's a very weird, potentially kinky, and definitely disturbing power to be gained from that. The world's not ready for four-man crash, and neither am I.